Hello, welcome back to Leap Taken. This is Mika, and here at Leap Taken, I talk about all things witchy, craft related, law of manifestation, spiritual, esoteric, and everything else in between. So, today I actually just want to do a little chat and then show you how I infuse magic into a simple process of ironing clothes. In this, ta this case, excuse me, I'll be ironing my husband's shirt. Uh, this is a shirt sometimes he'll wear on a weekend or a casual day he'll wear, he'll wear to work. So what am I doing magical, right? Well, first off, let's just make it clear. I am simply ironing the shirt. The magic is my intention. Why, or excuse me, while I'm ironing the shirt, what am I doing? I am putting my intention into the process. So with every fiber that makes up this shirt, I'm creating the intention that his day is with ease, that he has a peaceful day, that he is able to negotiate, that he is able to have um, satisfying experiences while at work. That's my, basically positivity. I'm purposely ironing those intentions into his shirt. So here we go. And while doing so, we'll have a little talk because I can do both. <laughs> So we'll just start with ironing the shirt. Let me just move this over a little bit more. Sometimes I use spray starch, but not for this shirt, it's not necessary. So with a spell like this, as I iron, I can think it, but for the purposes of video, I'll speak it. And I'll just say, as this iron presses into the fabric, so does my intention also become pressed, become permanent? My intention is that this shirt acts as a shield against all negativity, against anything that is unprosperous. As this shirt is worn throughout the day, There is ease in negotiations. There is satisfaction in work. Business relationships are profitable. So it is done. So mode it be. Voila, <laughs> that's pretty much it. The key to it um, is not so much as creating a spray that has um, special, you know, magical properties or um, blessed oil or blessed sprays, not that I would spray oil on the shirt, but you get where I'm going. That's definitely something that can be done and that's a great thing, that, that's wonderful. That's take, taking it up um, a few notches. But if you don't have anything like that prepared and you just wanna get to it, it's all about what you feel and what you're willing to, um, allow to come out because it all starts here 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 or here and it comes out your mouth so um as i'm thinking as i'm speaking i am speaking a spell literally on the action of ironing the shirt that's pretty much it so that's the type of cottage witchery that goes on around here that's what i do but as i iron the shirt i also just wanted to take this opportunity my spell is still going. <laughs> it has been enchanted. I've enchanted his shirt. But um, I also just kind of wanted to talk about just a little bit of my sort of way I practice witchcraft. One of the ways that I practice is like the things I do here. It's very simple. That's what I love about this style of witchery. It's the simplicity of it all. And never believe just because something is so simple or seems so easy, that it's not as effective. Remember, you're the, the major, you're the magic wand, you're the magic tool, you're the magic handle, you're, you're all of that, you are. So if you intend it to be so, then it will, and once you intend, you believe it, it's already done. Excuse me, in my mind, this shirt has already been spelled, it's done when he wears it, everything that I intend will be so, so will it be. I don't practice magic in a place of doubt. I don't practice magic in hopes 
that what I'm doing works, I will know it works. So, what happens when you practice magic, and this has happened to me, um, you've created a spell and it doesn't seem to be working. In my case, I actually had an incident recently. As you, if you've watched any of my um, other videos, more recent videos, we are living in Arizona and we are currently staying in a condo. It's like a um, corporate housing type thing. So I know that we have to decide <laughs> really soon on where we're gonna set up shop a little more permanently. And that has become quite an issue. It's, it's, uh, it seems easy enough, but it really isn't. You're dealing with a lot of um, opinions, mine and my husband's, and then what's realistic budget-wise. Um, it's just the whole thing. I mean, if you ever go house hunting, you know it's not just, oh, I like that house, buy it. Oh, well, what about the neighborhood? You know, what about that subdivision? What, there's so many, you know, how close is it to his job? What about entertainment? Because we've been going out and we like certain areas, but that's more pricey. Is it worth it to drive further out? It's a whole thing. So I did use some magic as far as a new moon intention to create uh, a spell. I did a new moon intention and a spell at that time. Um, on a particular place. Now, I will say this, I did leave it open. I, I just kept saying home. I didn't call up that particular place I had looked at. Either way, it doesn't matter because um, it just didn't work out for us to get that place. In the end, it didn't work out. It wasn't, it was just, it, they were more unreasonable than I had hoped. Um, and it just budget wise, it didn't make sense. Location-wise, you know, I was willing to let it go, but with the price and there was no negotiation, it just wasn't going to work. Okay, so that felt a little disappointing. And one might think, hey, maybe your spell didn't work. Well, I said home when I was doing my intention, you know, like I said everything around just the word home. I didn't say that home. I had been thinking of that home. And when I was doing the spell work, it, that was the home I was envisioning. Okay, so fast forward. The realization that place isn't going to work out. So I'm like, okay, well, there's another place on the horizon. Focus your energies there. Then another house came up. So what I think I need to do is get a little bit more specific in my spell. Because what's happening is homes are... <laughs> revealing themselves to me um, I need to make sure I'm a little bit more clear about which home I want when I'm doing my spell work which I will be doing creating a spell for that I think I need to get a lot more specific so that the spell can work as opposed to just identifying homes I, well, I'm coming across quite a few homes that I can make work I can make work so in this case I would make a spell for a new home that works for me, not that I have to work to get into. I want the process to be seamless, effortless to get this house. So that's what I'm gonna be doing next. Cause it, I'll be honest with you, it got a little bit frustrating um, in the end when it came to that house. So hopefully that's been a little bit helpful. Hopefully this, the shirt spell, the, <laughs> the positive intentions into the shirt. I hope that was helpful to someone because magic is something that you can just practice where you are. You don't have to have tools at the time, although I love tools. The, the biggest thing, the biggest, uh, the manifester, the, the magic is really you. And I believe in my magic so I know it'll work. So I hope you do the same. Thank you.